Hello guys, happy Monday. Um, I apologize, I'm still just slightly sick. If you guys follow me at all, or you're friends with me over on Facebook, um, I like I completely lost my voice last week. So it is coming back, but I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight. We are going to dive in and talk about your brand and like the importance of it. And I think the title of this was, do you really need one? I think you can guess the answer is yeah. But uh, we're going to talk about why you need it. We're going to talk about all the different kinds of things and, and give you some really good examples. And I'm going to share details of next week's online branding retreat. If you are not um, getting notifications from the group, then you may not have seen it. If you're not on the email list, you may not have seen it. So I'm sharing more details tonight. But first off, if you're on, uh, number one, again, apologize for the frog voice, but let me know if you're a mom or you celebrated a mom, tell me you know, in the comments, what was one of the best parts about your Mother's Day weekend? I wanna share with you guys because uh, you know, I, I, I feel like this group is family. And, you know, I, I build this for a sense of community and I want to pour into you guys and to love on you guys, but I want to share with you guys. Um, so my oldest is in kindergarten and my little guy is uh, four and we occasionally will drop my big guy's bike off on the way home from preschool pickup. And then my little guy and I walk up to the school. I walk, he rides a bike and then the two of them ride bikes home. But it ends up being like me running because they're chasing each other and racing and stuff. So my four-year-old decided for Mother's Day that mommy needed to get a bike. So we went and we picked out a bike for mommy. And uh, today we rode to school and we rode home from school. And guys, that's part of my brand. I'm a mom and my hair is all a mess because I rode four miles on a bike today and it's hot in Texas. So there we go. But hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, let's go ahead and dive in. If you're here, tell me that you're on. I'd love to say hello. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Ryan, Wanda, Brian. Whoop, whoop. Love seeing that you guys are all here. Um, so let's let's chat, guys. I want to hear from you in the comments. Do you really think that there's an advantage to those people who are building online and have this strong solid brand because in my opinion it's a hundred percent if not more than that and we're going to dig in and i'm going to share some really great examples with you but i, I want to just kind of take this back for a second and let's oh thank you so much um let's take it back for a second and and kind of really what's the point of online right if you're building your business online you are here to build relationships you are here to to really get to know people and to to let them know about what it is that you have to offer, but also to foster that trust and to show them, I have something that can be of value to you. I can help you get from that point A to that point B, and I would love to serve you. And that doesn't always come across in one post or in one Facebook Live or in one email or anything like that. So as you're building online, your brand, who you are, what you're about, what you represent, what your core values are, all of that is going to be encompassed in your brand. It's more than colors. It's more than logos. Yes, you guys know I love pink. I've got my pink flowers, my pink stuff here, right? Uh, I'm drinking out of a pink cup tonight. So if my if I get a tickle in my throat, I will drink some of my tea here. But, um, you know, it's, it's more than just the colors. It's more than just, oh, Pink and blue and gold, that's Nicole's colors, right? Like, okay, but what is Nicole about? What is What does Nicole stand for? What, what do I share on social media that builds my brand collectively? That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So this is going to be a key uh, topic if you are in network marketing, if you are in affiliate marketing, if you are a blogger, if you are an influencer, if you are a coach, if you are somebody that brings your personality to the forefront of your business when it comes to attracting clients, attracting customers, building a team, whatever that may be, if they have a zillion competitors to choose from, sometimes with the same products, program, services, whatever it may be, you have to give them a reason to choose you. And that's where your brand comes up. So we're going to dive into that. So if that sounds if that sounds good to you guys, let me know. Let me take a drink so I don't continue to sound like a frog here. I really thought it was going to get better by now, but we're on day five. So hopefully by tomorrow it is back to normal. Okay, so let's talk through this. 
when you are connecting with somebody online, did you know you have seven seconds, seven to make a first impression? And it's probably the truth in, in real life too, right? But seven seconds to make that, make that first impression. So one of the things we are going to dive into next week in the online branding retreat, which I will share more with you guys about here in a little bit. One of the things we're going to dive into is how to give that really polished, professional, um, quick glance like, oh, she got her stuff together, you know, on your profiles, on your emails, whatever it is, that you're, wherever you're putting your content out. So that's one of the things we're going to dive into next week. But you have seven seconds to make the impression. But here's the thing. Most people we know statistically don't buy, don't join, don't raise their hand right off the bat. It takes time and you have to continue to put content out there and continue to to bring your value to the front so that they know who you are, what you're about. What, you know, what it is that makes you different from other people. That's all going to weave together to form this brand. So fun statistics here. If you guys don't know me, I used to teach math. So I love numbers. I'm a very analytical, logical person. But 80% of people, 80, will say that they choose to buy from a brand or a person that they know, like, and trust versus buying from somebody that they don't know. So that's that's the whole point of this online strategy here, right? Is you're going to continue to grow this sphere of influence, this place where you can pull people in and say, this is what I'm all about. And here's how I can serve. And in doing so, guess what? You're going to repel some people too. And if you guys have been around me long enough, you know my whole attract, repel. Like when you dial in your brand, you are going to attract people to you that just love what it is that you're all about. But simultaneously, there are going to be people who say, yeah, that's totally not my thing. And they self-select. Um, I just posted this afternoon over on my personal timeline, which I highly recommend you guys doing it. Number one, it's great for engagement. But number two, it just helps you see who's out there. But I said, hey, guys, here's the thing. I'm going to do a clean out of my friends list. I've been needing to do that in a long time or for a long time. And I said, if these things don't resonate with you, mom life, encouragement, healthy living. Yeah, go monetize your scroll on social media. Let's make some money on social media. If that kind of stuff doesn't resonate with you, I'm not your girl. Feel like, let me know if you want to stick around. I'd love to have you, but I also want people who want to hear from me to see my stuff. And I want to open up space for people. And at the same time, I put down at the bottom, guess what? Your news feed is 25% ads. You have the power. You are empowered to go adjust what's the other 75%. If you don't like what you're seeing, don't see it anymore. Unfollow, unfriend, get rid of it, right? So if you are getting rid of people or of accounts or whatever that may be, it's probably because you don't resonate with their brand. You don't resonate with what it is that they're bringing to the table. Does that make sense? Are you guys clicking with this? I think I see Kathy. Oh, Kathy is on. Kathy, we haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you, girl. All right, so. Here's the thing. I want you to stand out. I want people to to know, and I I purposefully wore this shirt. Let me take that banner off here real quick. Uh, Here we go. This is StreamYard, by the way. I did last last week's video was all about tech. I didn't get a chance to really show StreamYard, but let me share this with you guys. Uh, So like here, I can say, oh, look, Michelle was relaxing and quiet. All the boys went fishing and she left her daughter and, and, you know, the girls were at home and quiet. I can highlight comments. How powerful will that be if you're doing live videos, right? I can put branding up there. It's amazing. So StreamYard is awesome. But here's the thing. My shirt says avocado holic. I don't know if you can see past my hair. No joke. I'm going to tell this story again. I've, I've shared this with you guys before. Last year, I received a gift in the mail from somebody. And I opened it up and it was a mermaid blanket. I think it was intended for me, but it's my kids. <laughs> my kids have it. It was a mermaid blanket covered in avocados because she just knew I love avocados and I wear the shirt and I talk about avocados and in my stories, if I'm eating avocado for lunch, I share it like as weird as that is, it's part of my brand. I'm, I'm healthy ish living. Avocados are great and like good fats and they're very filling and all the things, right? She knew that it was part of who I am. And so she thought it was, she saw it. She's like, I thought that'd be really funny. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like people just start to get to know who you are. All right. So let's let's just take a step back. I told you I was going to give you some examples. 
How many of you guys, I, I'm not one for like celebrity gossip or anything, but how many of you guys know of Rachel Hollis? Rachel and Dave Hollis. She has a business that has multiple books. Dave has multiple books. They created the podcast. They were doing the Instagram lives and the Facebook lives and all the things, right? And they created this brand around go do the things. You're amazing. You can do it. She, in one of her books, she talks about how, um, you know, their relationship came to be. And she talks about some struggles she had in early on in life and childhood, all the things. When they came out and they said, we are getting a divorce. So many people said, that's like totally off brand for you because you've always been go, 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 dig in, do the things you can do it. You can push through, you can make it. And they built this brand around who they were as a couple. And, you know, I think she, she even did, um, marriage retreats and things like that. So, so what I'm getting to here, I'm not one to judge. Do your thing. I don't, I don't care about Rachel and Dave Hollis and what they're doing with their business, but I'm, I'm showing you the example of the importance of the brand. Their brand was built upon one thing. And then when they did something different, people said, well, wh what? That doesn't, no, that's not clicking. That doesn't really go. It's not what you stand for. It's not what you've built this business, this brand, this message around. Your message is part of your brand. And that's one of the things we're going to dive into next week in the online branding retreat as well. Because what you have to say and how you say it and what you stand for, again, your values, that's all part of your message. And I will tell you that there are times that I go look when people come into this group, I go look at their profiles. Um, and I go look and, and you know, we all do it. We go stalk people on Facebook. I mean, tell me if you've done that before and you want to check them out. And I look down and I see they're sharing posts and sharing posts and sharing posts and sharing posts, but they don't bring their own content. They don't mention their business. They don't like share anything of themselves. And the first thing I think is, are they in the right place? Like, should they be in my group? Should they be coming to hang out and learn about online business? If I, I can't tell they have a business, there's no business page link. There's no Facebook group link. There's nothing of, of value of, of, you know, I don't know. So that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about too. And that's what we're really going to dive into next week in the online branding retreat. So I digress. Rachel Hollis, Dave Hollis, they have a brand when they came out with the divorce. Their brand flipped upside down. A bunch of people unfollowed. A bunch of people said, you know, this is just, I'm done. Let's talk about some other big brands. Gary V. Grant Cardone. If you've seen their stuff, if you're on their emails, if you've read the books and podcasts and all the things that they do, you know that they have a certain way of speaking. Uh, Grant Cardone is very like, go, 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 let's go, let's go. High energy. Go give some more. 10X. Let's do it. Gary V tends to cuss a lot. Not that one is right, one is wrong, whatever, but they've built a brand and they have this way that they present themselves online that's very recognizable. It stands out. People know who they are. People remember them. Do you think that that will help you in building your business if people remember who you are, if you stand out and they know what the heck you stand for? Come on, guys. It's an important thing. Okay, your brand and who you are and how you present yourself and what you bring to the table. It's it's more than just like I said, it's more than colors. It's more than Nicole really likes pink. It's more than Nicole likes to wear graphic tees and fun earrings. It's here's what Nicole's about. Nicole's about empowering you to go out and leverage social media and put together systems on the back end so that you're not just posting and praying and hoping that the algorithm shows your stuff to the right people because she knows you can make money online and she's here to help you and she's here to teach you. And she is all about teaching and pouring, loving and giving all kinds of energy into this group. That's what Nicole's about. What are you about? Okay, like that's what, that's what I want people to know is what you are about. 
So can you guys think of any other big brands? Let's just talk about Apple. Apple's not a personal brand, but it's a very solid brand. People will line up and they're ready for that new iPhone. Even though they don't need it. They're like, yeah, I want the new iPhone because I love Apple. I got my Apple Watch. I got my iPhone. I got my Mac. I got my Apple, 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 Apple everything. They're loyal to the brand. They love what Apple stands for. They love the ease. They love how it all works together. Whatever that may be, Apple has built a very strong brand. There are other phones out there, Samsungs, and I don't know what else. I have an iPhone. I have a PC, though. I do not have a Mac. I will say I'm not 100% Apple. But do those brands have as much of a following, have as much of a strong just presence? Maybe, maybe not. So this, while this is very much pointed towards people who are building personal brands, it can be leveraged for people that are building, you know, company brands. But mostly what I'm doing when I'm teaching you guys here, it's about bringing your personality to the forefront and letting people get to know who you are. Because in, in all reality, they're going to choose you in business because of you. They're going to choose you because of who you are, what you're about, what you bring to the table. And that's why I'm so excited to teach you guys this. And this is something I have never done before. So if you've been looking for the details on the online online branding retreat, here we go. It's here. Okay. I've done group coaching. You guys know I have my Social Profit Academy. I love my Academy students. By the way, you guys all, all get access to this. Complimentary. I do one-on-one coaching. I've never done an intensive week-long Let's get in there, get down and dirty, make the changes and go coaching. And that's what this is going to be. So we're going to do live videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, it's Facebook Live. Yes, there will be replays. If you can't catch it, it's okay. I will try to keep them relatively short so you're not sitting there watching hours upon hours upon hours of training. And I will make it actionable. You want to do this? Go change this. You want to do that? Let's look at this. Here's a template for your Facebook cover. This shows you exactly where to put stuff so that you're not going to get things cut off based on where the bubble is on mobile and where things are on, on desktop and all the things. Um, we're going to go over Canva. Ooh, it's an amazing platform and you are going to love it if you don't already use it. While it's not all about the colors, it certainly does help if you create some consistency in your colors and in your fonts and things like that. So I'll, I will walk you through Canva. We're going to do some really fun stuff with Canva. We are going to talk about, hang on, let me get my little list up. Your brand pillars. What is it that you bring to the table? What is it that you're about, right? Like, let's break that down into these main categories. And then let's come up with a content strategy that fits that. And not everybody's the same. Not every business is the same. You're going to post on different platforms, different timing, all the things. This is not just me sharing information like right now on this Facebook Live where you're just watching me going, hi, Nicole. I will share You can post in the group. You can ask for feedback. You can comment and I will help you out. And so it's going to be a week of private coaching in addition to the training, in addition to the templates and all the other things. We're going to talk about your message. We are going to do, um, you know, just optimizing your profiles, optimizing your account. So when people come over there in that seven seconds, they go, okay, cool. I want to stay here versus meh. It's okay, but I'd probably find somebody better to pay attention to. We're all intrinsically selfish, y'all. We want, we have very limited time. So we want to pay attention to people that are going to provide value for us. And everybody's everybody's measurement of value is different. Some people are simply looking to consume and they want to be entertained. That's it. They want to laugh. They want to look at the memes. They want to watch silly cat videos and whatever else. They're just on social media to be entertained. Some people want to be taught. You're here watching this video. You want to be taught. You want to learn something. Some people want to be inspired or empowered because they're going through a rough place. They just want to know they're not alone. They're not the only person that's dealing with what they're dealing with. Right? So how do we bring that up for your brand? I was a teacher. So there will be homework and it will be, here's what we're talking about. Go do this thing. Check in on the group. Let us know when you're done. If you want some help, you need some support, let us know. Accountability. Get the stuff done. No more putting it off. And just at some point, one of these days, two months from now, six months from now, I will get it done. You're going to get in, 
down and dirty, get it done, get the feedback, get the help and the support that you need. For all things branding. Does this sound amazing? Because I'm super pumped about it. Like I said, I've never done this before, but I'm really excited. And if it goes really well and you guys are loving it, I might do it quarterly just because it's great. Like we're coming up on summer. Refresh your brand. Make sure give everything an overhaul. Make sure everything is on point and you're good to go. That's going to be very helpful. Now, here's something that I've not done for anyone outside of my uh, academy or inner circle before. I'm going to give you guys the ability to become affiliates, too. So not only is this at an insanely reasonable price, I give you the option to pay once. I give you the option to pay over two months. So awesome. OK, but I'm going to let you be an affiliate, which means when you're done getting your spot, there's a little link that says sign up to be an affiliate. And when you do that, you're going to get your own separate link that you can share with people. So if you're in network marketing and you have a team of people, you're like, oh, we all need to learn all this together. Let's do it together as a team. You share your link instead of my link. and You paid $19, which is 20 percent. Anytime somebody enrolls. So if you get five people, yours is free. I don't know. If you want some extra cash, it's a fun way to do it. Share with the people that you know in your social media business owning network of people. Hey, hopefully you find value in me. This girl's pretty awesome. She's doing this really fun thing. Let's do it together. Hold each other accountable. Get the thing done and boss up our brands. Be really present when it comes to online business. If not now, when, right? Like, let's just do it. So you get to be an affiliate if you would like to do that and get paid to have people sign up where I teach them. And all you have to do is say, come do this and give them a link. Sounds pretty nice to me. All right. So early bird pricing ends on Friday. Price will go up on Saturday. So uh, get in now. Get in quick if you want to join us. And like I said, if you have friends, that gives you more time. The, the sooner you get in, then you can get access to the affiliate link. Then you can go promote and connect with people who you think would find value in this. And we can just run into it. So I think the group I'll do lives Monday through Friday, and I'll probably leave the group open for an additional five days for help. So if you can't get through everything exactly the time that it is, that's fine. We'll leave it open for a stretch of time so you can still get the feedback and the support you need. I want this to be efficient. I want this to be helpful and supportive for you. But in the end, I want you to walk away and go, wow, that was awesome. Like That was so, so good. So I'm actually going to share with you guys really quickly. I don't know if I can make this any bigger. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Um, I was just going to share, but ignore the fact that you're seeing my entire email inbox here. Um, here's some feedback from people who've done this kind of coaching with me in the past. Uh, it's, it's just what I didn't even know I needed. You've made it so clear. I've done several social media trainings and have heard the same stuff, but for some reason, yours is resonating so much more with me. I appreciate it. My anxiety just went way down, mind blown, game changer. This is so much less intimidating, um, very helpful. Forced me to sit down, consider my brand and audience, create more targeting content, never use my first my personal Facebook, just business. This was a game changer. Just saying. So if y'all want a game changer, let me get this guy off the screen here. Come join us. It's going to be so much fun. I'm super excited. And um, like I said, we're going to have a separate Facebook community, little group. So it's going to be really tight knit. And you guys can ask, get feedback, get all the questions. It's going to be awesome. Um, let me know if you have questions. I will put the link up here on the screen. And guys, I just want to remind you that how you show up online, it can be consistent across multiple platforms. For me, it's Facebook and Instagram, and even more. I like. I'm primarily Facebook. I use Instagram more for stories than anything else. But your message and who you are and what you represent, it doesn't matter what platform you're on. If you know all of that and you can articulate all of that, it's going to come across in any of your content, no matter where you're putting it. Okay, and I cannot wait to help you. So if this is something that sounds good for you, you can go right here, designyourlifewithconfidence.com forward slash retreat. 
get yourself signed up. Again, there's one pay, there's a two pay, you can be an affiliate, all the fun things. I'm trying to make this extremely affordable for you guys so you can jump in, hang out with us for the whole week, get my coaching, my eyeballs on your business for five days. This is not one-on-one. This is not my big academy. This is something I have never done before. I'm super pumped about it. So I hope that this was helpful. I want you to really think through, frog voice, sorry. I want you to just really think through what, what your brand is. And if you need clarity, or if you need a refresh, or if you just need a, I don't even know what I'm doing. Can you please help me? Jump on in with us. Let's go through it together. I'm super excited and I cannot wait. Uh, we've already had a couple people jump in. So I just, I can't wait to see who's going to, who's going to dive in and really take their, their business to the next level, boss up, brand up, and really just create this amazing online presence that is going to drive so much more business your way. So with that, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Let me just check the comments and see if I miss anybody. Just what I've been waiting for. Amazing. Cannot wait. Melanie would love to see you in there. And uh, Michelle, you're so sweet. You're all about value. I really am. Um, you know, I was a teacher and I'm all about sharing what is working for me, giving you guys nuggets and all the things that can just help you get that leg up. Because I know that all of you, whether you're watching live or on the replay, you all have something really cool about you and your products and your services and your business opportunities and all the things that deserves to get out there. And if I can have some part in helping you make a bigger impact, it's that ripple effect, right? Like if I can just help you a little bit and then your, your ripple makes an even bigger ripple, how amazing is that? Rising tide lifts all boats. Let's lift all the boats together. All right. Y'all have a good evening. There's my Texas coming out. I will see you guys in the group. Early bird pricing goes down Friday night and this starts Monday. So you got a week. Ask me all the questions, whatever you got. Good night. I'll see you guys later.